Popular Science Magazine has named NASA's PhoneSat project as a winner in the aerospace category of its 2012 Best of What's New awards. The awards, now in their 25th year, highlight innovations that once seemed impossible, yet today really exist. Based at NASA Ames Research Center, the goal of the PhoneSat project is to lower the cost of building a space satellite to the point that almost anyone can do so. About the size of a coffee mug and weighing less than three pounds, the total cost of the components for each PhoneSat satellite is about only $3,500. The PhoneSat project is looking at new and unique ways of building small satellites. For instance, the team used commercial off-the-shelf components, which includes a consumer smartphone to host the software as the computing power for the spacecraft. Smartphones today have more than 100 times the computing power of the average satellite with fast processors, high-resolution cameras, GPS receivers, and several radios and sensors built in. NASA's prototype smartphone satellite, known as PhoneSat 1.0, is built around the HTC Nexus 1. The team also built a more advanced version called PhoneSat 2.0 that has improved software, more sensors, and is powered by Samsung's Nexus S. With a whole array of these satellites, which is really cheap, you can now do a swarm of satellites that can take measurement points all over and you can get really accurate models of the atmosphere and of other scientific data. Both satellites are scheduled to be sent into space later this year aboard a rocket launched from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility at Wallops Island, Virginia. Each satellite will broadcast a signal every 30 seconds on the amateur UHF band at 437.425 megahertz. Anyone around the world can listen for this signal and upload what they hear to phonesat.org.